and we are on welcome to the last commentary of this series this uh, this occasion uh, we're playing me and a computer against Spy and Jim I think Alex just left so we had to do this so the teams I am a Protoss Orange at the top left this is Jim as a Zerg Yellow at the bottom left at the top right we have a Spy as a Protoss purple and at the bottom right we have the computer I believe yeah, the computer as a certain grid which will die a gruesome death very soon in the hands of Jim so this would very soon turn into a 2 versus 1 game which I was okay with alright so as always starting to wall off with uh, a force and a gateway while Jim is taking his 9 was it a 9 pool? yeah 9 pool and he always starts with a creep colony as well um, weird placement there, but okay. The computer go is very greedy and going for his expense. Well, I guess that's the usually for Spurg. Uh, Spy also trying to wall off and also getting gas. I think my ex yeah my probe is in and he is oh he dies, but he is able to see. I guess he didn't see the these guys coming, but he did see the spawning pool. Uh, it was evil chamber going up as well as gas for Jim. Uh, however, I'm gonna get my second seal. As you can see, I didn't even build a four, so I'm pretty confident that I can stop any attack with two sealots. However, Jim goes against the computer, and this is the end of the computer. Didn't do much. Okay, so sp a spy blocking over his entrance, even though he does, he knows that the computer is pretty much dead. But over Jim, uh, he doesn't know what I'm doing. I think I don't think anybody has caught me at this point. And he got a cybernetic score and gas as well. I'm getting my force now because I'm scared that Jim is gonna attack me maybe I overreacted, okay all the probes are gone, he has zero supply we would just stop commenting that piece of the game and Stargate coming off from my side so that I can go and harass Jim and here comes one loner from, uh, I think that's from Spy's base to go and see what the hell's going on on my side mm, and he's just going to chill out there by the mineral patches uh, meanwhile, I know that Spy does not have his other expansion, which is goodness. I, I that's what I want to do as fast as I can. Okay, let's see, Jim. Jim is uh, upgrading to Lair now and getting attack one on Hydralis, and he has a Hydra then. No expansion yet, so he really committed to that attack. Oh, he's getting a, he's running for a drop or that speed. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so Spy moving around the map without a compass and also getting a robotics facility probably going for a river drop of his own since he know I am here I'm actually very vulnerable to river drop because there's nothing on the back of my base okay so I see now okay computer is gone and I see Jim had not taken his expansion with that little pro oh I missed that so they probably put a pile on there and had to come and he had to kill it Alright, so Spy attacking with two units, but I have four sealots there and I can see my expansion is already up, which is what exactly what I wanted, get a quick economic uh, lead on these two guys, and I started to wall it off with some proto cannons, proto cannons. So this is the most important part of the game uh, for me, I need to really resist the first attack from a combined force of Jim and uh, Spy. So now, as obviously, Spy always does this. He's totally unpowered because he decided to block himself out. All right. So at this point, I have two gateways, a uh, Corsair fleet. Well, one Corsair should be out somewhere. Maybe he died. Uh, Jim is has his expansion. Uh, here's my Corsair, and I'm giving uh, also Citadel of Adun to research uh, leg speed immediately. I don't know if I finished attack one on the Corsair. So now we're seeing. Uh, no attack one. I probably got uh, range on dragoons. So these corsairs are doing a pretty good harassment job. Unfortunately, they're gonna run into yeah hydrogen and have to push back. Okay, spy also taking his outer expansion, and I need to stop one of these two expansions. I don't know. This is what is gonna go and see. Yeah, he sees the expansion from spy. Run, run out of it, don't die. These guys are also chilling. Yeah, we just kill these guys. We're gonna rest a little bit. So here's my advanced force and I had to make a decision, either attack Jim or attack a uh, spy. I decided Jim because he was closest, but he has a lot of units. I still push in however because that's the kind of guy that I am. Okay, get back, get back. Oh, died. What are you guys doing? Get out of there. Okay, and that was futile. 
Alright, that's still two gateways. I need more, man. Okay, there you go. A lot more gateways. So I got five gateways now, and my front is secure. So, okay, no luck with Jim. He has a lot of sunken colonies. So let's see what happens with Spy. Oh, his river is right in the front. I see this opportunity, and he's this river to take down the river. River is gone, but then I had to pull back because his advance is coming. So at this point, I decided to go back to base because both Jim and Spy are gonna come full head, uh, a full frontal attack on my base. So you can see, uh, Spy is ready here, and Jim is gonna move out soon. So this is our another critical part. Uh, do I have a storm? No storm. I don't even have servers, man. Yeah, so this is this is complicated. We need a increase speed. So fortunately, I have a lot of uh, nicely placed cannons, but there's a lot of units and some lurkers as well. So again, guerrilla tactics. I I think I have a higher production in terms of gateways and uh, a lot of cannons, so they cannot break my front uh, with this with those units. Oh damn. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm continuing to produce out of my gateways and also researching, I think that's attack 2, no, it's attack 1, I don't even have attack 1. And my observatory very late as well, so if Jim had pushed with his lurkers, he could have done a lot of damage, although I do have some cotton cannons. So here I come again, but no, I still can't do it because I'm, I, well, I saw the spines and I thought there were so many observers, I didn't even know that there was only two of them. And now a river, <laughs> go river, walk it out! And Spy also either wants to be annoying and deny this expansion or wants to blockade out of me. So we're a stalemate here. We, I need to break out. Fortunately, I am a 85 supply, so I have a lot of production compared to two gateways from Spy and his expansion, which is not doing anything. Uh, Jim is at 42 supply, so he should have. Oh, some. He's switching to Mutalix, that's why. He has two expansions. And this is mine, right? I don't know, they're not doing anything. Alright, so uh, I just amassing here until someone blows the whistle, the charge is, is called, and these guys will just try to crash against these units. Unfortunately, they were too late because the river is not in position. Good work there, by the way. More foreign cannons being set on the ledge. Although, might not be a good idea because these lurkers are gonna kill it. Uh, no, the lurkers see this because there's an uh, overlord and they decide. Oh, Jim wants to go for a drop. Yeah, yeah, so hi two, four hydrolysts and two lurkers coming on my base. Uh, this is, no, this is Spice Observer. Yeah, so here we go. Or either that was a mistake or, or here we really go. I think that was a mistake. Yeah, okay, here comes the other ones. Uh, meanwhile, the drop is happening on one side. This frontal attack is uh, being successful by me. Just sheer power of numbers. However, Jim had successfully dropped his four... Hydralis and his two lurkers. I had to pull drone probes even to defend because all my units were in the front. And you can see here I'm all the way up to the expansion, and uh, so I've successfully broken out. And too bad for Jim, he decided to burrow right next to the cannon. Oh, just in time, but the observer was there as well. Alright, so counter attack time. And I went against Spy since he's usually the person that has the less uh, sigh of uh, Jim and him and so I got lucky because he had nothing and only two gateways with no production so this is gonna be very useful he's starting to tech switch to carry out of one base which just spells disaster for him yeah so he that, that expansion is gone uh, Jim trying to help there with four mutalis but that's too little well actually maybe they'll, maybe they'll work because I have four dragoons I don't know if that's enough or not we'll see all right the mutalis are here oh unfortunately they arrive in groups uh, so, okay, one down and the, t the other one will probably be down as well. Yeah, all mutual is... No, no, more, more reinforcement schemes. So now I have to pull back. Oh, pull back, guys. Abort, abort, abort the mission. Yeah, you guys get back as well, because you can... Oh, this is a very good uh, observer placement. Alright, what do we have? We Let me count my uh, gateways. So I have five, six gateways now, uh, constantly pumping. I'm at 100 supply versus 42 of Jim. Jim, his expansion is pretty well protected and he, I think he's not combining to Mutalisks. And he's also upgrading to Hive at this point. Let's see if he's upgrading anything. Uh, no upgrade that I can see, but he is going to have, uh, creating a lot of more Mutalisks. And here's the Mutalisks now actually on my base. Oh man, he didn't know that he have anything but one cannon and he pulled back. If he had killed this cannon, he would have full control of my mineral line.